Let's go over how to create an email template and apply a trigger that sends the message out automatically. First, we'll go to the settings. Then, under messaging, click email templates. Here we see we currently do not have any. Let's go ahead and click create email template. Here you have the option of creating a block off time template, booking, inquiry, lease, owner statement, payment, quote, refund or security deposit email template. We're going to create a booking template. The name field is used to show the email template in lists. The guest does not see this. First, we'll give it a name. We'll call this welcome. Currently, the information in the from and to fields are being pulled in from the booking. The one on the left is for the name. This brings in your full name. The one on the right brings in the email, and this is your email. In the to column, it's bringing in the booking's email and the booking name. You can add multiple email addresses to the to email box. They can be hard-coded email addresses for people like cleaners that never change. Simply add a semicolon and the email address for something like a cleaner. If you had it set like this, it would get sent to the booking and the cleaner. Next, you'll add a subject. We'll call this welcome info. Then we'll add a field code to bring in the property name. Here we see there's a default message already set up. We can delete this or keep it and add on to it. Let's do that. You'll see there are three field codes already added. The first one pulls in the guest name, the second pulls in the property name, and the third pulls in your name. Let's go ahead and add the check-in and check-out dates. Now we need to add the field codes. Let's add the check-in field code first. Go over to the Insert Field button, then go over to the Booking tab. Go down till you find the Arrival Date. Here, you can click the Insert button, and that'll add the field code. We'll do the same with Checkout. Now that we have everything we want in the message, you can preview the message by going up to the top and clicking the preview button. We see all the field codes were filled in with the information for the guest. Let's click close. Now scroll down and you'll see you have another option. You can make the header or footer automatic based on the theme settings. You can select none to have no header or footer, or you can select account theme. We're going to leave this automatic. More themes can be made in your account's theme settings, and you can set a different theme for each property that you have. Next, you can select to have a copy of the email sent to you every time it is sent out. We're going to leave this unchecked. Let's click Save and Close. Now that we have the email template, let's set up a trigger. Go over to the left and click Triggers. We currently do not have any set up, so we will want to click Create Trigger. Here we see there are a couple different actions we need to select. We can choose this to be an event trigger, which will send out the email if an event occurs. There are quite a few events you can choose from, and you can see them all under this drop-down list. One of the most useful is when a booking is created. This is useful for sending out an email right after a guest books, such as a thanks for booking email. The other option is a scheduled time trigger. Let's select that. Here we see we can put the amount of days we would like the email to be sent out either before or after the booking has arrived or any of these other options. Let's go ahead and leave it as booking has arrived and let's set the amount of days to seven. This way, the email gets sent out a week before the booking arrives. Next, let's select the email template. Here we see the email template we just created, Welcome. Next, you'll see a list of criteria that you can add on to the trigger. This criteria defines the type of booking that the trigger will apply to. If the booking does not meet the criteria selected, it won't be sent at all. We currently do not need to change any of these. Next, if you scroll down, you'll see the booking fields. Here you can add booking criteria such as arrival days from now is equal to any amount of days that you'd like. Both of these are pull-down menus where you can select numerous options to ensure that the email template will be sent out exactly when you want it to. Let's go ahead and remove this. You'll also have the option of adding booking relationship criteria. 
you can add specific listing sites, specific properties, or specific seasons. Lastly, you have a couple of options. You can add a description which will help you determine exactly what this trigger does. Next, you have the option of Miss Trigger. You can leave this as try to send a missed trigger up until the booking has arrived, or you can select if the trigger date is missed, don't try again. We're going to leave this as it is. It's important to note, the missed trigger option is only available for pre-arrival triggers. Also, it only sends once. The missed trigger will not keep sending. It only tries again until it's sent. Then you'll see the status. We want this to be enabled. If this is unchecked, the trigger will not be active and the email will not be sent out. Let's click Save. Now that the trigger is set up, you can click the Forecast button and view all the future dates when the email will be sent out. Here we see the booking Joe Blow arrives on the 25th, so the email trigger will be sent on the 18th, which is seven days before his arrival. Below that, we see a few other bookings where the trigger is also set to be sent out seven days before the booking has arrived. You also have the ability to batch skip. Click Batch, then click the top checkbox to select all of them, and click Skip, then click OK. Here we see all of them have been skipped. You can easily do the same to unskip. Click Batch, click the checkbox, then click Unskip then OK. If we go to the Bookings tab, then click into a booking, then go to the Email tab, and scroll down, under Email Templates, we'll see that the welcome email that we set up shows that it will be sent on the 18th of June. We can choose to skip this trigger if we'd like, and if we want to unskip it, simply click that again, or we can Send Now, and we can make a few adjustments if we need to to the email right beforehand. Then click Send. Any event-based triggers that you create will show up under here. Those work the same way that you can skip or send now. That is how you set up an email template and trigger in Onares.